So hello everyone, I'm Miguel Bordallo and I'm a researcher and a scientist in the field of computer vision. So I believe that any one of us has gone to a doctor. And this is how it usually goes. The doctor checks some things, he makes some questions, he's trying to form an opinion of what he thinks is happening, a diagnosis. But most of the times, he will want to have some objective data that backs up his opinion. And he orders some tests. And this is when the hassle starts. The nurses come to you, start putting sticky electrodes, start putting bulky sensors, sometimes they use even needles. But now for a second, I would like you to imagine how would it be to go to a doctor where this doctor is wearing a device. And he's using this device almost like a companion. You know, he's looking at the same places as the doctor looks. But this device is helping the doctor in three different ways. First, he's able to monitor your health from a distance, like for example, your temperature, or your heart rate. Second, it knows how you feel. So for example, it knows if you are in pain, if you are stressed, or if you are very tired. And finally, and most importantly, is giving the doctor some cues about some specific symptoms that are linked to relevant medical conditions. I know what you're thinking. Wait, 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 this looks like, like science fiction. Well, the fact is that our research group has discovered that more than 30 conditions can be detected just by pointing a camera at a human face and observing. That's it. We don't need sensors, we don't need electrodes, just a camera pointing at a human face. How do we do this? Well, the latest advances in computer vision and in face analysis allow us to code the features in the face and extract information that is invisible to the human eye. That's it. Nobody can see it, not even a doctor. However, all these things have been only tried under very controlled laboratory conditions. I intend to be the first one to bring this to the real world by joining together the efforts and the knowledge of scientists, doctors, and engineers. And for this, I intend to build a prototype that integrates the first set of diagnosis applications that I want to try in real conditions. That means with real doctors and real patients. Because I believe that a technology like this can drastically change the way that healthcare is performed and will open up a lot of new opportunities. So, thank you very much. Help me, and if you want to talk about the topic, I will be around. Thank you, Miguel. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, right. Um, actually, yeah. here we've we've worked out a way to resolve our yeah. feedback issues, and it will be if you stand here, yes, and I'm going to stand over here. Yes, yeah. There, there we go. Magic. Okay, judges. So, one question from you, please. Okay. Um, Thank you. This was um, extremely um, interesting and um, a promising venue, I would say. Um, the one thing that I'm, I'm, I'm doubting, though, that um, there are certain suspicions about this being a workable method, actually. Uh, as we know, the others are much more invasive method rather than you suppose in this non-invasive method. So how do you think that you're going to break the ice uh, with this method? Uh, at least some things like, for example, uh, studying your temperature or your heart rate have been already demonstrated in, in quite good uh, accuracy. So just getting your heart signals will help pre-screening and will help the doctor, he will know if you have a fever and some other things. And uh, for the rest, I want to try with doctors and see how, what, what they think. But uh, in, in laboratory conditions, it has been shown that it works. Okay, thanks. Okay, great. Thank you very much.